Apex Comics recording. Autopsy number 1117. Oh, wait, it's just only an unboxing. I'm not a doctor. What the hell am I talking about? Hey, everybody! Hey, it's. You know who it is, Apex Comics. I have a package from Lone Star Comics in Arlington, Texas. It's actually my number one shop that I go to online. Or it's mycomicshop.com. It's a free little plug for them. How about that? So, I'm opening up. There you have it. And let's see what Apex got today. Let's see if all the bad tears will go away from the weirdness of the world. You know, it's always good to have some comics to make you happy in life. Hey, baby. Hot damn. Yes, Pied Popper graphic album number one. Damn, Hero Alliance, The Golden Age. Oh, I got... Bought this for like three dollars and twenty-five cents. This is normally like a six ninety-five book back in nineteen eighty-nine. Yeah, this is like a man. This is like full. I think it's like forty-eight pages. Man, it's like graphic novel size. Yeah, man. Finally, it's been split up uh, in like like three issues. After the graphic novel came out, and Pied Piper and, and uh, I think Elevation bought up the Pied Piper rights to Hero Alliance, and that's how the Hero Alliance series of issues one through seventeen came about. So yeah, the Guardian Complex. So these superheroes were the Guardians. I think they existed uh, in World War Two. This came out in like, nineteen eighty six as of this drawing so this looks really cool what else did I get what did Apex get also hey man I completed my strike mini series this is issue four and strike uh, Sar strike versus sergeant strike number one special Eclipse comics so completed that uh, run and oh god, I don't want to dox myself, so it's basically a bill that is. So it's with postage, it's actually a good deal. So, anyway, let's I'm gonna crack open since we have some time. Hero Alliance graphic novel. You may have may not heard of Hero Alliance, it came out in the uh, early 90s. Innovation bought out the Pied Piper rights to Hero Alliance. I think it's a... I think David Campiti created Hero Alliance. Oh, look at that. It's cool. Beautiful artwork here. Uh, yeah. Created by Kevin Jouar. Written by Kevin Jouar and David Campiti. Yeah, okay, so Kevin Jouar created it. And uh, illustrated by Ronald Lem, or Ron Lem, who later worked on Silver Surfer from Marvel. And other titles, and Michael Witherby. Mike Witherby, yeah. Of course, assisted by Bart Sears and Rick Bryant. Yeah, Bill Oakley. I think Bill Oakley used to work for Marvel. Colored by Marcus David, edited Roger McKenzie. Ah, I've heard of Roger McKenzie. So this came out first printing 1986. Yeah. So a little uh, disclaimers here. It's nice to see disclaimers in a nice large type instead of real tiny. I don't like the tiny type. Tiny type. You had too much tiny type. But yeah, here we go. Um, it's a little too big. Let's see the whole page. Excuse me, Mr. Rag. So, hmm. If only I could fly. Mommy, if I could fly, I'd could have escaped daddy I could have saved him didn't you have to believe Victor think more than wishes live more than dreams such potential your father and I have given to you when your sister Nicole and I are gone your powers will keep you strong and safe gone mommy please don't leave stay with me and that was 40 years ago Two decades later, Victor proudly fought side by side with the Golden Guardian. Soon they formed a team of heroes, the Guardmen. 
They're very much heroes in every sense of the word. Or so we thought. Wow. They're all like him, with powers welling up inside with schemes to thwart and menaces to battle. Continues there. Oh, yeah. They usually want little the worse for it. No, not again! And Victor believed it could go on forever. He fought injustice, usually alone. As a teen out of college, he met Golden Guardman, who was everything Victor expected. A fine job, son. When he became the first of the Guardmen, his life was ideal. Soon they... Oh. Uh, 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 they thought they'd glide through the sky with a flurry of wind or lift weights that would shatter bones and did not mystify them. Soon they, uh, they centralized their efforts in a high crime area. It seemed to be the right thing for heroes to do. But dying became part of it. Heroes lasted for about six years before they were slain or tired or burned out by powers that made them like gods. The roster changed as did Victor's life. Friends were lost. Gleaming skin and satin shimmers came and went. Then the Golden Guardian disappeared by his own volition. Victor never, never pried, fearful that perhaps he did not measure up. For Victor, the Golden Era was gone. The Guardmen became media stars. Said, Victor, now we can afford to be heroes. We'll be as popular as Michael Jackson or Madonna in their days. Media darlings, this isn't how heroes behave. Our concern is for people, not profit. The guardmen can go without me. I won't be anyone's merchandise and ploy. Victor, you own a nationwide chain of health spas. Don't lecture us. They can see the difference. And he still felt their words ringing in their ears. It's a nice crowd shot. Drawing crowds are a pain in the ass. And just to let you know, I've done it before. Man, it's not easy. My respect to this artist. I think it's Mike Ritt, Weatherby. It. I drew it. Well, here we go. Nice, beautiful two-page spread with some panels underneath. This is really awesome. So I'm gonna peruse some of this. I'm not gonna go into the whole story of it. It may take me too long to do. But yeah, nice uh, three-point perspective right here. I mean, these, I feel like these guys are starting out, but starting out very strong. <clears throat> Yet to, well, it seems like someone has uh, stolen Golden Guardian's helmet. Use it for his evil purposes look at those eyes man what man so menacing yet yeah, demented so peruse through here this kind of reminds me of a bit of a neil adams uh shot <laughs> the cape flowing and the uh, force shortening here good job very cool This goes, man, there you go. This is the 80s uh, gym spa. I don't know if y'all were old enough to remember the 80s, but here it is. These women wearing the, uh, yep, top bikinis. And there you go. Yeah, yep, definitely 80s. Look at the leggings. <laughs> high heels, leggings. How do you work out with high heels and leggings, girls? I, I don't understand how you do it. But there you go. Yep, Victor owns the gym. And there's someone. Uh, What's this, the meat hook mauler? Some vigilante brought to get into action. Uh, that's really cool. But anyway, I'm not going to go... I'm not going to review the beginning. Yeah, i got to enjoy it myself. Yep. I was right. 695. So anyway, guys, everyone, please like, subscribe, ring bell for notifications. Apex Comics... It will be back to do another video. Share this video. Comment, please. And I want to remind you, um, I know today's March 26th, but as this recording, March 27th, tomorrow I'll be on Red Valkyrie's show. I'm selling some of my artwork. 
some uh, originals, original colors, uh, original black and line work. So please stay tuned. Um, Red Valkyrie on YouTube between 12 p.m. and 2 p.m. Central Time. So, everybody, I'll see you uh, on the next video. Ciao for now.